Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to take a look at the art of power balancing. Now, what do we mean by power balancing and how do we implement it? So if we look at a typical string of pixels like we have here, we've got our data going in at one end with the power and it runs all the way through and it gets down to the very end. Now each pixel in turn is taking a little bit of the power and so the power available through the string is slowly diminishing as we go along. Now this isn't too big an issue if we've only got 100, 150, maybe even 200 pixels with 12 volts or if you're using therefore some of the smaller props in the market like the little snowflake that we looked at previously. It's just 50 pixels and so it's not going to have any dramas because the voltage drop on this between pixel 1 and pixel 50 is negligible. But when we get to some of the bigger props like GE's Spin Reel Max which is somewhat larger and has over 500 pixels how are we going to deal with power then? Because across 500 pixels, the voltage drop, even when run at moderate brightness levels, is going to drop away towards the end. Now we can see this on a lovely little drawing. We can see the power data going in and it runs around the loop and comes out at the far end. Now there's only about 20 pixels in this drawing, but if we extended it out to the 526 on the spin reel max, then we can see that the voltage drop is going to happen because the little 18 gauge cable and all of the solder joints on all of the pixels is going to reduce the power available as it goes. So what is the easiest and simplest answer to help boost the power at the end? Now, one of the simplest answers that you might see referred to is called power balancing. Now, this can be explained. If we look at a drawing I did, a simplified drawing I did of a pixel, we can see that the data is going in on the left and it goes through the IC and it comes out again. And that makes the data directional, which is fine. But if we look at the positive and negative data, we can see it goes in one side and it goes out of the other and there is nothing in the middle. And therefore, there's no reason why we can't power the pixels from either side. And that's where power balancing comes in. If we look at our string of pixels, we have our regular data and power in, and we have our output. But there's no reason why we can't put power uh, positive and negative power back in via the output. Data has to only go in the one end because it's directional, but power could be injected into both ends. Now injected is a bad word because power injection is a separate subject, which I'm going to move on to next week. This week we're just talking about balancing. So what I mean by that is we're going to feed power both in the front and the back or in the start and the end from just the one run uh, data cable coming in from our controller. Sorry to interrupt, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and all of that. If you're enjoying it, you can click the buy me a coffee down below. And if you can't do that, I understand, but please give us a thumbs up because it all helps the algorithms and will help us boost the channel, get it to more readers, and then improve the income so that we can continue the production values of the channel. Thanks guys, take care, bye for now. If we look at this again on a simplified drawing, we can see that the power and data is going in and round to the left as before, but I'm also taking the positive and negative data and taking it round to the right, so it's going into both sides of the string. 
and you can see that the data is going in one side and it's going around the loop and then it's stopping at the end. Now, if you're not a, an avid solderer and you don't want to start chopping cables up and making them yourself, you can buy T pieces like this one from the major resellers. This one is from Build a Light Show and is suitable for the pixels that we use in the UK. But X Connect and Ray Wu type T's are also available, I believe, from your, your favorite local vendor. Well, this has a regular input on it that we connect to our string from our controller. So this is a this is a pigtail from a controller, and we simply connect this into the, the bottom of the T. Okay, that connects up just as normal. And then we have both the male and a female coming out of the sides of the T. And we can connect those onto our strings. So our normal input connector plugs in just like normal. If I can get the uh, get it the right way around. There we go, that plugs in like normal and does up. But we've also got this male connector, which we can plug into the output from our pixels. So I can plug this one in right here. There we go, that's plugged in there. And that is gonna give us positive and negative power to flow the other way around the string. Now, because it's all coming from its from the one original source, we don't need to worry about um, making sure that negatives are joined and positives are not or anything like that. It's all coming from one source. So the, hooking this up is perfectly safe. And it just means that the data is going to flow both ways. <laughs> Sorry, it means that the power is going to flow both ways around the string and thus leveling out the voltage or, or balancing the voltage around the prop. Now that's exactly what I've done with the, the Spin Reel Max down there. I've hooked it up at the start and the end. And that allowed, because I'm only running it at about 10% power, that gives us enough juice running around the whole prop that I can just power it from a single pigtail and going back to my controller. So there we go, that's an introduction to power balancing. So we're simply creating, in English terminology, we call it a ring main, the same as we do in our houses. So all of our sockets, uh, for instance, in a particular room like the kitchen, the sockets are all wired together in a daisy chain and both ends go back to the fuse box. I know in the US you do things differently. You have your star configuration with wires all over the place, but we of course do it differently. So there we are, an introduction to power balancing. So we're simply taking the power that's coming in from our controller and we're splitting it out into the start and end of our string. So that it's leveling the voltage all the way around. I hope you found that one useful. As always, do like, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And we'll see you next week for power injection. In the meantime, have a good remainder of Star Wars Day. See you next week. Take care. Bye for now.